Hey guys, welcome back inside the Vintage Geek's toy room. I'm John, the Vintage Geek, your friend in the Force. And today we're looking at Janna from Star Wars Rise of Skywalker, number 98. Janna. Is it Janna, Jana, Janna, Joe, Janna, Gina, Janna, Janna. Jana, Janna, Jana, Jana, Janna. Disney Hasbro, all the warnings there. Janna, from the oceanic moon, Janna leads a band of warriors ready to charge against the forces of the First Order. It's in five languages there. On the back of the box with this awesome picture. She comes with a blaster pistol. Her own design, her own style. We haven't seen this before. It's pretty cool. Sort of flintlock looking. It's kind of giving you a, a retro look. The D's of old. She's got a bow, looks like a twin bow, double bow, kind of futuristic spacey, space age bow there. She's got, it's got a hole in it here that goes all the way through. So I imagine the single arrow, which you'll see in a second, can go through there. It's a nice little strap on it, some metal parts there. She's got a quiver with a strap. And the strap comes off, so you can kind of put it on her pretty easy. She's got a single arrow, pretty straightforward there. And a bundle of arrows to go in the quiver. So, yeah, it's not like a multi-shot. This just is a separate piece that goes in the quiver. I don't know why it's separate. I mean, it could be... I guess you could do it. Well, the quiver's out. I don't want to bring it out. She's got a nice goggles on her head. Beautiful hair. Perfect likeness. Really nice looking head sculpt there she's got the uh single jointed elbows on the arms typical black series movement here we got everything the cape looks geonosian to me looks like it's made out of geonosian wings <laughs> i don't know maybe we'll get an explanation in the movie what that is nice boots she's wearing uh actually no boots those are her calves and uh she's wearing sandals <laughs> Now, I don't recommend fighting through the woods in, in battle with sandals on, but, you know, I guess she's okay with it. So, yeah, that little arrow did go through the hole, as you saw there. And these arrows can go in the quiver. And uh, the gun goes right in the holster here. Fits really nice. Really, really well. Really nice. She's got this, like, cool band around her arm there. These awesome things on her belts. Do dads. Now, I didn't know where to put her hand at first. I'm looking at this thing like this bow and arrow makes no sense. There's nowhere to put her hand. So I put it through that little hole in the side of the weapon. And that just looks really strange. But while I was doing that, I realized I think there's a handle there. See, I think it was confusing because it's two... There's two bows. Two... Yeah. So, like... The hand can't cover both sides of the thing. But, uh, yeah, this is not right. So don't do this. This is not right. What we have coming up here, this is what I think is right. So you put it on the, there's like a grip sort of part there, and you put it there. That's where her hand goes. And the blaster part, it looks like a little, look, 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 a little blaster thing on the bow. That goes on the top there. You see it on top? All right, then the arrow can slide through the hole there, and I think that's kind of how it's supposed to look. Yeah. And the quiver, I don't like how that came out there. That looks kind of strange. It doesn't look like it's naturally on the body. It looks very, like, placed there. Like, it's not... I don't like the way that quiver's going. There's got to be a way to get it to go under the cape, maybe. So... I don't know, out of the box, when I first put her set up, figured out the bow, this is how I got her going. And you can kind of judge for yourself what you think, if you think this is good enough or whatever. But um, in a second here, after I give you this 360, I'm going to tweak it. I'm going to move some things around and see if I can get that quiver in a better spot because it just doesn't look natural to me, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, all right, I, I put it, I tucked it under the cape and kind of put it on the other side. So if that hand is drawing the bow back, she can just reach over her shoulder and grab another arrow. And that, to me, looks a little more natural. 
again, I don't know. You can kind of see how her hand there is pulling the, the the arrow back. And she's almost using it more like a crossbow in this situation. You know, she's got it held sideways. It's like all gangsta, I guess. <laughs> But I can't really get her to hold it straight up and down and have the other hand look like it's drawing the arrow back. So there you go. So then the other situation you could do is you could sort of redo the straps on the quiver and use the strap on the bow and kind of tuck it on her back there and then have her use the pistol. So that's an option. And I think this looks pretty good, you know. I actually like this pose very well. I think this is how she's going on display in my collection. Because it just all her gear is strapped on to her back. The straps look natural, like they're flowing with gravity and naturally there. And the uh, the weapon looks good in her hand like that. Like she's got it cocked and ready to go. You know, blast those stormtroopers. First order troopers, you have no chance with Janna. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. And I uh, hope you have a great Thanksgiving. I'm not sure if I'll get one done before Thanksgiving. But I think I will bring, I'm going to my mom's for Thanksgiving, so I think I'll bring a couple figures with me and I can do one a day over the weekend because I've still got, I don't know, six or seven things to open here. Um, yeah, so we'll do that and uh, hopefully see you a lot over the coming week. All right, guys, happy Thanksgiving and uh, hope you have fun with your family and friends and we'll talk to you guys later. See ya.